all looking good. <laughs> That's gonna crack you up when you see it. What? I went to see how the color was reading, and my whole fucking face got <laughs> shot. And then I was like, oh shit. <laughs> Welcome to Cooking with Dave and Audie. I'm Dave, that's Audie. Today we're doing a sexy little salad for Valentine's Day. This is gonna be our first course for our three course dinner. For the salad, we pick beets. Not much sexier food than beets, and it fits Valentine's Day appropriately. Yes it does. I got some uh, honey crisp apples, some nice pears, a little onion, some fennel fronds, some cilantro. We're just gonna slice that all up, toss it together with a nice little vinaigrette. Bob's your auntie. That looks so good, dude. That's our salad put together. The only other thing that needs to go on there is some feta cheese. We'll save that until we dress it. We need to make some dressing, but this is done. It's just gonna go off to the side until we're ready for plating. We're gonna start with some stone ground mustard. Nice big chunks of mustard seed in here. Dave, why do you use mustard in a vinaigrette? This helps hold the emulsification. By that you mean? Um, well, oil and uh, vinegar don't mix, just like oil and water. If you don't use something to hold them together, they just separate. So we're using some apple cider vinegar, and it's good to give it a shake. We're going to use about one part vinegar and one part oil. There. For flavorings, a little bit of celery seed is nice on salads. A little bit of crushed red pepper flakes. We're going to sweeten it with a bit of honey. Not too much because um, the apples, the pears, and the beets are all got some sugar to them. Season, salt, black pepper. that little stir. I think I want a little bit more mustard in there. In addition to helping the emulsification, mustard just tastes good. It really does, especially on a salad. Mm. Salad here needs a little seasoning. You always want to do that last on something like a salad. So a little salt, some pepper, then we're going to dress it and plate it. That's good. We've got our dressing. Now you never want to overdress a salad. You really want just enough to sort of coat everything and not have a puddle of dressing left over. I think we'll use all of our dressing for this one. Beautiful. Give us a little toss up. Smells so good. Colorful, fragrant, beautiful. A little sweet, a little bitter, a little sour, a little savory. There's a lot going on in here, man. Plus, we're going to top it with a bit of cheese. So that seems nicely dressed there. With sort of a light touch, I'm going to use my hands. Just get a little, little good bit of everything here. Some greens, some of the other stuff. Good mix of all and then sort of loosely onto the plate here. Just kind of let it fall around and pile up towards the top. Just a couple crumbles of uh, nice fresh 
feta cheese. Check that out, Audi. It looks so good. Sexy, fresh, delicious, healthy. light, yeah. super healthy. That's our Valentine's Day salad. Nice, fresh, crunchy, delicious. You can make it at home. Your date will be impressed. Thank you for watching.